Hi, this is Andy Filippiak in Toronto for the week of August the 1st. Late in July, we saw the Federal Reserve raise uh, interest rates by 75 basis points, and the last three days of July turned markets around considerably. The U.S. dollar finally sold off as the belief that the Fed is potentially now done raising rates. So this led to a higher stock market, higher gold price, and lower U.S. dollar. Now our permanent portfolio was up roughly eight tenths of a percent for the month, so we're now down roughly 6.4 percent for the year. Uh, it's important to mention that uh, right now, and I talk about this nonstop, is that the central banks are really the only game in town. What they do is crucial for markets. Now, over the last decade, we've seen the Federal Reserve constantly cutting rates, um, bring in quantitative easing to stimulate markets, help them. But most importantly, the Federal Reserve is the de facto central bank for the world. And this is an incredible power. They are able to uh, swap currencies of other central banks for US dollars to keep the system greased. However, in this process, they have created massive amounts of debt over the last 12 to 15 years, which has effectively been the tinder for the problem that we now see in inflation. Of uh, all this potential money, you have a crisis of the supply chain through the COVID lockdowns and then a war in Ukraine, and suddenly ex uh, inflation explodes dramatically. So while the central banks are great at solving short-term problems, the long-term problems are now upon us. So what the central banks do going forward, specifically the Fed, is crucial to where financial markets go. Really all we can do is sit back and watch and see what happens at this point and try to preserve capital in a world where everybody is watching to see what happens next. Thanks for watching.